What up you two? Slip Noble here, banging off a couple of reactions. Third one today, just gonna keep going with the flow. I'm not sure, it might be the last one. Uh, I'm gonna do Eminem. Uh, rips Donald Trump into Hip Hop BET Awards. Now, this is a, was the first time I had ever seen Eminem get any hate, really. Uh, he's got a little criticism, but never hate. And it was the first time I seen it from this. Now, I don't know if it was just Trump people or uh, him dividing the line. But, you know, if you're a fan, that shit don't matter. You know what I mean? Him saying that. So that was just an excuse for people saying that. So um, I understood it because if he came in with... Uh, a big rap and just started doing all these metaphors and all of that it, nobody would understand it it would fly over your head uh, maybe the hip-hop people would but just the common folk wouldn't understand it wouldn't get it so he was trying to use his platform to reach out you know get people to see it that might not see it or whatever so he had to say it in a way like a speech it's almost like poetry he had to say it like that so everybody could understand. All of America watched it. It was trending for days. It was all over the news, CNN, every news outlet. So if he was out there just blah, 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 and all you stood was Donald Trump, well, that's not going to go anywhere, especially with the beat and all that. You had to go a cappella, and you had to slowly break it down and give it a chance and give a chance to everybody else that don't listen to hip hop and don't get hip hop to get it. So that's what it was, it was a speech, and uh, let's watch it. I haven't watched it in a long time, so. December 6th. It's the calm the before the storm right here. Now, I think he said that because Donald Trump in one of his press conferences said this is the calm before the storm. So that was his little thing, first little jab at Trump. Wait, how was I going to start this on? I forgot. <coughs> oh, yeah. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. Should I drop it on Donald Trump? Probably not, but that's all I got till I come up with a solid plot. Meaning he's gonna break down a rap until he comes up with something. That's what he's gotta do. Got a plan and now I got a hatchet like a damn Apache with a tomahawk. I'ma walk inside a mosque on Ramadan and say a prayer that every time talks She gets a ah. See, now right there, people thought he screwed up. But it wasn't a screw up. He had the idea and the thoughts in his head. Now that was something where he was going to go at Ivanka. But he goes, ah, I'm going to stop. Because you know what? It's not about Ivanka and going after the female. He didn't want it to get directed in a different way because the it wouldn't get across the same. Oh, well, he's attacking the woman. And so he stops himself. He probably planned to stop himself, but he stops himself. A lot of people were saying, oh my God, he screwed up. No, he didn't screw up. He would not put the screw up out like that. He did it because he stopped himself from going in that direction and attacking the woman. Because this is about Trump and his decisions and what he is saying. I'm going to stop. But we better give Obama props because what we got in office now is a kamikaze that will probably cause a nuclear holocaust. holocaust. And while the drama pops and he waits for shit to quiet down, he'll just gas his plane up and fly around to the bomb and stops. That's a sick line. I love that line. I love that, and it's so true. Intensity's heightened, tensions are rising. Trump, when it comes, comes to giving a shit, shit you're singy as iron. Except when it comes to having the balls to go against me, you hide them. Because you don't got the nuts like, like an empty asylum. asylum. That was great. You don't have the nuts like an empty asylum. You know, an asylum has is full of a bunch of nuts, but it's empty. Great. I love that one. See, he said it where you can figure it out, but it was clear as day and you can understand it. 
So he kept the hip hop in it. Racism's the only thing he's fantastic for. Cause that's how he gets his rocks off and he's orange. Get it? What he's fantastic for, fantastic for, the rock man. He's orange cause Donald Trump always has that fake tan going so he's orange like the rock man. And he's only fantastic for racism. Yeah, sick tan. <laughs> sick That's why tan. He wants us to disband because he cannot withstand the fact we're not afraid of Trump. Walking on eggshells like Kanga Skunk. That's why he keeps screaming, drain the swamp because he's in quicksand. It's like we take a step forwards and backwards, but this is his form of distraction. Plus, he gets an enormous reaction when he attacks the NFL, so we focus on that and. Instead of talking Puerto Rico with gun reform from Nevada All these horrible tragedies and he's born and would rather cause a Twitter storm with the Packers So true all the distractions he was doing uh, about the NFL and making a big scene and meanwhile he is You know uh, saying all these things and all these bigger things are going on see I don't plan to know all this stuff but I know that that makes a lot of sense and he is always forming distractions on what he is saying on Twitter. The guys, the tw I don't think the president should be on Twitter. I, I just don't. Maybe if it was positive and all that, whatever. But this guy is like, like Eminem says in a song, banning transgenders in a tweet. Like that tweeting is getting ridiculous. Especially what he is tweeting about. You know, if it was positive maybe, but it's not. He says he wants to lower our taxes. Then who's gonna pay for his extravagant trips back and forth with his fam to his golf resorts and his mansions? Same shit that he tormented Hillary for and he slandered. Then does it more from his endorsement of Bannon, support for the Klansmen, tiki torches in hand for the soldier that's black and comes home from Iraq and is still told to go back to Africa, fork and a dagger in his racist 94 year old grandpa. Who keeps ignoring our past historical deplorable factors? Now, if you're a black athlete, you're a spoiled little brat for trying to use your platform and your stature to try to give those a voice who don't have one. He says you're spitting in the face of that too far for us, you bastards. Now, one thing I hated, he got hate, and no, no one I hated. Like, he was getting criticized by Charla Lemayne, whatever his name is, and some of these radio heads. When he's out there fighting for the culture, and black culture, and you think those guys would appreciate it more. And even all the hate, that's where it started. But this man went up there and fought for the culture and the race. And a lot of people did appreciate it, but I seen a lot of people that weren't appreciating what he did, and that was a big thing he did. And you know, he put himself under the light, but he wanted to fight for what he believes in, and he believes in the black people, and he believes in that culture, and he believes in hip hop. And I just thought he should have got some more support. I love the support from Red Man. Red Man, Red Man was a true, is a true homie with them and uh, he was up there and he got mad and for people that were talking shit and you know what man I was it was great to see that unless you're a POW who's tortured and battered because to him your zeros because he don't like his war heroes captured uh, he did say that I guess McCain was a war hero and during their thing at disputes and all that I guess when uh, they were trying to be when he was uh, in the running to get in the presidency he had criticized him because he had got got caught so that is retarded and that was ridiculous so that's what he's talking that's about that's not disrespecting the military that this is for Colin ball up a fist and keep that, that shit ball, ball. Like Donald the bitch. Double meeting. Bald ball. He's gonna get rid of all of them. Double meeting. He's gonna build that, that thing up taller than this. Well, if he does build it, I hope it's rock solid with bricks. Cause like him in politics, I'm using all of his tricks. Cause I'm throwing that piece of shit against the wall till it sticks. And any fan of mine who's a supporter of his, I'm drawing in the sand line. You're either for or against. 
And if you can't decide who you like more in your split on who you should stand beside, I'll do it for you with this. The rest of America stand up. We love our military and we love our country. But we fucking hate Trump! Trump.